Hello. This video outlines my experience with Guitar Center selling a fake guitar as authentic. With the numerous red flags that will be shown in this video, it is astounding this guitar passed Guitar Center's validation process as the guitar was not even a good fake. The fake guitar that Guitar Center sold me is the exact guitar you can purchase on eBay or AliExpress, running you around $250 to $300. Guitar Center sold the fake to me for $499. Starting off, we will be looking at the Guitar Center listing page. I'll show side-by-side -side comparisons of fake knockoffs versus authentic versions of this guitar during the unboxing portion of the video. The model we will be looking at today is the October Annihilator Doyle Von Frankenstein guitar made around the 2010s. There is a huge counterfeit market for these guitars as there were very few made and have high demand and low numbers. Unfortunately, a lot of interested buyers for this model are not well versed enough to determine the fake versus authentic, which leads us to the beginning of the story. I first saw this fake guitar listed on Guitar Center's website early June 2023. At first, I didn't notice the red flags from the pictures and attempted to make the purchase online. However, the guitar had sold within 5 minutes of it being listed. Upon looking closer at the pictures, it was abundantly obvious the guitar was fake. Most notably, there is no serial number. Fast forward about four days later, a reverb seller had listed the same exact guitar for three times the purchasing price. Now funnily enough, an eBay seller had sold what I believed to be a fake for $1,500 on May 3, 2023, claiming it was authentic. Granted, the alleged fake that was sold was definitely modified to look more legit, there were still obvious signs that should make you question the authenticity. Now I'm saying this is an alleged fake, as I would never have the guitar in my hand, so to avoid trouble, I'm saying alleged. I felt this was an important side note to show how easy people are deceived. Now back to the Reverb listing. The fake guitar was listed about 4 days later on Reverb for $1500 by resale. I reached out to the seller telling him this was a fake guitar and provided all the telltale signs I will be discussing in the unboxing portion of this video very shortly. The seller seemingly agreed with me and pulled the listing that day. About 2 days later, the guitar was listed on Guitar Center's website again, so it seems the Reverb's reseller had returned the guitar to Guitar Center. I proceeded to purchase the guitar on June 14, 2023. What follows is the unboxing portion with the side-by-side -side comparisons of fake versus authentic guitars. The first obvious signs of a fake is the licensed under Floyd Rose patents engraving on the bridge. This is a fake bridge sold by numerous sellers for cheap prices on Amazon and eBay. The real Annihilator came with a Floyd Rose special bridge. The next sign is the pickup is a knockoff Seymour Duncan Invader you can get from numerous sellers online. The previous owner probably replaced the stock counterfeit pickup with a more believable Invader looking pickup, but this pickup is fake as well. The real guitar came with signature October Sucker Punch pickups. Now one of the biggest indicators of a knockoff annihilator is the absence of the wavy-like concave cutouts at the end of the fretboard. All the knockoffs did not even bother with these cutouts as it requires extra skill with CNC machines to replicate the design. It's much easier to cut straight across rather than cut a design. The previous eBay example from earlier had poorly replicated cutouts that are not the correct design. It was obviously done as a custom job. The truss rod cover in this still is not the correct cover. The authentic truss rod cover was more sharp. Also, the bar holding all the strings down is missing from the knockoff. There isn't even screw holes, meaning it never had the bar to begin with, as well as the locking nuts missing.
Another huge red flag is the beveling on the edges of the guitar. Notice the very slight beveling on the fake. Now look at the authentic guitar. Notice the deeper, more aggressive beveling. Another characteristic of fake annihilator guitars is the absence of a fitted recessed cavity for the large back plate. Fake annihilators have a large back plate sitting on top of the guitar. Real annihilators have an additional shallow recess carve out to let the back enclosure plate sit flush with the guitar. Evident in this picture is the one small oval electronics cavity on the fake versus the two small oval electronics cavities on the real guitar. The fake guitars have only one cavity as the employees can save on build times by shoving the pickup and the output jack electronics in one cavity. As a result, the output jack is in the wrong place. It is higher on the guitar. The real guitar has the output jack lower on the guitar adjacent to where the second lower enclosure plate is located. Finally, the most unforgivable red flag that should have clued the Guitar Center employees in on the counterfeit nature of the guitar was the absence of a serial number. How does Guitar Center accept guitars without a serial number? They could be buying stolen goods. This just seems like it would be against Guitar Center protocol to accept a guitar without a serial number, especially since it's widely known there are many counterfeit guitars floating around. Why would Guitar Center skip validation steps when they should be in the business of selling consumers legitimate guitars? If anything, this would make me lose trust in a company that should be taking authenticity seriously. Tons of new and experienced guitar players rely on Guitar Center's reputation as a store that sells only authentic items. Seeing a guitar slip through the validation process with the red flag as gigantic as a missing serial number is astounding. What's even more amazing is the fact that I returned the guitar shortly after to a brick and mortar Guitar Center location and they listed it the following day anyway even after I explained the counterfeit nature of the item with all the arguments I listed in this video. I spoke to both an employee and a supervisor and they assured me the tech would take care of it. I called up the store after I saw it relisted and they said they would talk to a supervisor about it. After a few hours with the guitar still listed and obviously nothing being done, I called the corporate customer number and told them about the fake guitar. They refused to take the listing down until they talked to the, their supervisor and the store. I explained with a guitar as high in demand as this model was, a customer will buy it immediately while unknowingly buying a fake. They had no response to this concern besides reiterating they couldn't take it down until they spoke to the proper people. I even sent an email to the corporate employee explaining all the evidence with links showing the obvious na nature of the fake. In conclusion, the guitar remained listed for over half the day and then disappeared. I have no way of knowing if the listing was removed or purchased. And frankly, the guitar was far from set up and I'd venture to guess not even play tested as the action was way too low making over half the guitar dead notes. And not only that, the back plate was also missing. So that leaves something to be desired seeing how Guitar Center shipped out this gear untested. Makes me wonder if they don't play test before shipping. At the end of the day, there was absolutely no urgency on Guitar Center's part to react to a customer's concerns about their product's authenticity. So with knowledge gained from this debacle, I'll be very wary about products Guitar Center sells. I am far from the only person who has experienced this. In closing, I'll be releasing a part 2 follow-up demoing this fake annihilator guitar from Guitar Center very shortly. I really hope you enjoyed.